Hey guys, so this is a tutorial I've been wanting to do for a while, which is programming the PIC24 and DS PIC32 found devices. And the reason is simple. When I search YouTube, there's not a lot of tutorials on these devices. And I think it's a shame because these devices are very powerful and have a lot to offer. So in this video, I'll cover why would you want to move from an 8-bit device like your Arduino or probably a PIC16 or PIC18 to a PIC24 device. Why would you want to use a 16-bit device? The reason is simple. You simply get more in the same package. With that, you get a bit more instruction size, a faster clock. If you are doing assembly language programming, instead of one working register on the PIC16, PIC18 devices, you get up to 16 arm registers you can work with. You have better stack hardware multiplier. And something this document, this migration document, Microchip has here, covers is that the dark memory access. Yes, there are 8-bit devices that have the dark memory access, but they are not as powerful as on these 16-bit devices. So, you really will move to a 16-bit device when you want more power, especially when you want greater resolution, positive modulation, you want better timers. If we take a look at the data sheet of the device we'll be using, the PIC24 FJ128 GB204 in the series, we'll see that you see a lot of things like USB and, you know, a cryptographic engine, you know, better support. Generally, you just get a more powerful device and it really doesn't cost that much more. So in the next video, we'll start looking at why you would want to use this over 32-bit device and then we'll get into the peripherals. So be sure to follow along, like, share and subscribe, comment anything you want to know about these devices below and I'll try to do a video on it. So thanks for watching. That's it guys.